Really, guess. Okay. Sure. Uh, he opened a four bigs. He's got ace four suited. Okay. Got to fade aces and fours right now. And a deweys. Uh, we lost to ace king there for half our stack. Clubs all of his outs. He pings the three. We hold. Nice. I think if I lose like a hundred K on a site, I'm allowed to say fuck that site. I think that's just allowed. I think I think I'm just given the right of way to just say whatever I want. When I lose a hundred K straight on a site over a moderate sample, I'm just allowed to say what I want. It just is what it is. Alright, Mr. Austin. Mr. Austin. I'm gonna call one, but I don't think we're winning here, sir. Part of me just wants to fold. I got a sneaky suspicion you're not bluffing. This would be super out of line. But we'll give you at least the moniker of respect to call here. But I'm not thrilled about this. Ah, you got me. Final two tables now in the 200 main. Yeah, in terms of game integrity, I would never question stars. Uh, the snap check is kind of fun. Yeah, my plan is to check hall and then check jam on a lot of rivers. Pat's fixed the homeless problem, just buy a house, yeah. I, have, oh. I mean, you could have queen 10 here. You could have king 7. I mean, I don't... Oh my God. How did I find the bin here? I mean, I'm calling, but... How did I find the bin? Oh. How did I find the bin? I, did, I, I can't believe... Like, I, we're never full. We're never full. But, like... That's as close to the bin as we're ever gonna get, my dudes. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I like jamming, so we'll just open. All right, well, we're gonna start with the tank check here. Oh, we have an all in a call. The tax man, all in it at risk, pings the Jeffrey. Can he fade the aces and tens and find the double up? Or will he? No, he will not be a casualty. Tax man finds the devil. Uh, versus lead, I think we're obliged to call one here. I don't think he's bluffing very often. I think we're getting good equity. It'd be better if we were Corona. That way we can, you know, not have someone behind to act. Now, if he, yeah, I'm just gonna fold, but. If we were to check, we still have flushes in our range. SPR is one, I guess we would just jam. Ooh, would that make a king fold? I don't know. Definitely doesn't make a ten fold. This is nightmarish. <sighs> so three big blind stack, blind all back. We're probably gonna have like Okay. I guess we just launch. I think versus this size, especially, I think it's just too big. I don't really want to check call, and there's so many problematic turns that I don't necessarily want to launch on, so. Hold. This would be a pretty brutal pick. All right, we gotta fade a four side right now. Yes. Oh, I accidentally punched the mic. That's a big double. With the blind roll back too? Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have a few chips on the final table. We're gonna have a few big blinds, baby. Fives, a seven. For the final table. Oh, he needs an eight. Otherwise, Jar 2 is going to be our 10th place finisher, and we will be on the final table. 
Is it an eight? Oh, oh my goodness. That's a binky. Okay, so we gotta play a hand here. I think first the 3x are still defending. Like, I feel like he's just gonna check fold so often. Eh, that's fine. I think we just win sometimes. I think he's just gonna have a lot of garbage stuff. Like, he has some deuces. He could have some sixes in this spot, but I feel like his flop size is gonna be pretty papega, and like he's just gonna have like jack high queen eyes. I just don't want to give, don't want to go anymore. I mean, we're still talking about he's gonna see a size, but I still like his flop size is like really bad in terms of like sizing tell. Oh, well. it's flat. I mean, we could maybe turn it into a bluff, but it's like meh, because like we don't have a crazy amount of value that bets there. River, we do. River we do, I think turn, no. And I don't think we have to turn our hand into a buff on the river. All right, sixes up against nines. We are probably final table. Yeah, final table, GG to SD. Final table, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, with blind roll back, we got 50 bigs, ladies and gentlemen. We got a 50 big blind stack. Hmm, I think we'll start with the limp. I don't really like the raising. And I don't think jamming's a little unnecessary. I mean, that's one of the worst, at least with a spade, we, we have the ace of spades. I mean, 6-7 gets there too. You're still hoping he somehow doesn't have it, but I think we might lose on this river. I mean, we, he, could, he could have like jack 10. Nine Dewey, rip. Oh well, I think check call, check call is fine. All right, we're opening up ace 10 here. Bang though, let's fucking go. I think I'm just gonna shut down. I mean, he's gonna have the gut shot stuff. Ten of spades kind of sucks to have, but I mean, it'd be better if I had like ace eight to be honest. But I think there's a size. I'm just gonna be obligated to hero. He doesn't. Have, yeah. Yeah, I I feel a little bit more obligated to hero, even though we have the ten. Still has all the combos of queen. Queen X, and I feel like he sometimes gets greedier with different different hands and different size uses different sizes. It's like a lot of the stacks have evened out. It might take a few blind level increases. Oh wow. Two and a half X Ace King Queen's big flip here for our first pay jump at the final table. So far so good for a pay jump. We just need to fade two outs and we lose a dart two in a ninth place. Alright. Good game, dude. Uh with that we lock up just under eighteen hundred now. Jax versus a6 suited. We're rooting for Jax here to get us down to seven. Gotta fade an ace and a four. Nice. Down to seven here, locking up 2380. We'll look at the prize pool at the moment. So yeah, at the moment we have seven left, locked up 2380, playing for the 13.3. Alright, I'm telling you, man, like you're gonna have to pay the the pay this ladder. Because I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm waiting. Oh. oh no, we folded an ace too. Oh, that's trip fours. All right, well, we're down to six. All right, we're down to six, locked up 3,200 almost. Fuck me. I guess we just have to take it. Like, I wonder if we ever just get folds here. I mean, I, I don't think we fold. I, at this point, we just gotta fuck around. Oh! Okay. Let's see a flop here with the tax man. Check, tax man, check. Check. Tax man. Uh, we'll start with the call here. I mean, at the rate that we're running, we're probably going to see the king of clubs on the turn. 
I mean, if we see the eight, we'll just have to lead, but. A little nine ball, huh? I mean, realistically, I don't think I'm going to lead very many nines here, so. Gets off gifting a sub to Zav Rock. Thank you, Kylie. So the problem with calling here is his bluffs do pretty well. Uh, it's kind of interesting double barrels in this turn. I don't feel like this isn't that good of a turn for him. So it's kind of weird. I think we just fold, like, a lot of the things that he could be buffing here, dirty our outs. So, like, if, uh, like kings, queens, jacks, eights, if he's got spade draws, are going to be doing fine. It's really weird that he bets, but he doesn't bet a nine on this flop. He doesn't have a nine unless he has two pair. The sizing just is papega as fuck to me. I don't know why we're going for it. Like, I just don't get it. Maybe he's picking the size. Check back rivers. I don't think he half pots 10 9. GG, Stone Cold. Oh, man. That's a little. <laughs> a little bit. I I mean I guess we missed the all in. I wasn't really paying attention. What I what I miss? What is it? Ace Jack. Ace Jack, Ace Queen, he flops a flush draw, doesn't get there. Whoops. Well. Stoke Cold's been eliminated. We're down to five, locking up forty two hundred. You guys are fucking nits. Mm, I don't think it's very many eights, but I think we just win. So I don't think we need to turn it into a buff. I'm just curious if he bets this river. I think he could value bet some eights on this river. I don't think he checks ten. Maybe he would check ten. I don't know. I need to think about it. Depends on his. I, 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 instead of like, I think we just MDF this. Um, so I don't think he value bets a six this size. So he's basically repping an eight or air. So. Wow. Little tax man. A little thin value bet. Oh, pay jump, pay jump, pay jumps, no spades, stop the spades, stop the count. Ah, down to four, with that we get another pay jump, we lock up uh, 5,600. Okay, bring it to, oh, uh oh, what are we dealing with here? I need an ace. No collecting today, tax man. Let's go, baby. All right, big double. I mean, it's nice to be jams, but I don't think we have to fold. Uh... I mean, he's gonna have a pretty wide raise. It's not bad. He's gonna have like history. Like, I kind of just want to do this, but I also think calling is okay. I feel like me tanking and then checking has got to be, or calling, and it's got to be terrifying. For sure, Chippy V, we don't jam. That's why it's like a little weirder. I mean, it's rotten. Like, I didn't have a problem heroing down, so it's like, and I don't think he's gonna triple off. I feel like my tank call is like really fucking terrifying. It's kind of annoying. He just says ten four. I don't think jamming is that good though. I think I think the problem is like when we get called, it's like really problematic. And I think when we click call, we keep all of his shitty aces in. I don't think he limps all of them. I think it, it depends how you define his raising range. I think if we define it how I'm okay with it. And like I'm willing to call down in some spots, like I think I'm fine with just clicking call and keeping his range wide. I probably jam ace jack. I think ace ten off it is just gonna be a call. I think ace ten suited we eat. I'm pretty sure if we looked at that from Chippy V, ace ten off's not a jam versus a twenty big line open. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Sure. 
Sure. Fuck, GG. Eh, I think the Ace-10 one, I mean, I could review that right now. So I'm just gonna screenshot. <sighs> I think it's whatever. I think I think the Ace Ten one is like a whatever spot. I'm pretty sure it's not. Like I, I gotta close to look at charts, but I think Chip EV for like twenty. It's like whatever to jam. GG's though. I think we did get dealt a lot of folds, but I think some of them were close. There, I just wanna look at the chart. I close GG. Yeah, thinking about it, I think at the moment I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking he's going to have a different range, but yeah, we probably should just pile these 10. I think it's like a whatever spot. Like Chip EV we pile, but I think the way the stack distribution was, it's not the worst. But like, I think we just pick up like three three plus the blinds. Yeah, I, I think the bust out there is like a, I mean not the bust out, I think the Ace 10 one. I mean, that was the most recent one. A uh, bunch of um, fun spots, yeah. I, I think if in retrospect, we probably could have taken the Ace 10 spot, but I don't... I don't hate having that as like our bottom is flat because we're not jamming ace nine. Yeah, I mean, we're looking different there. Like ace jack off, we take. I think ace ten. It's just like I think it's like fringy. I think it probably can go either way. Like I imagine jamming the. It depends. It depends on you to de define his opening or is there. Gang shit. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Take care. Have yourselves a good evening. Peace.